Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music and I'm on Create Studio 3 version 3.2.1. What I'm going to do is start a new project and I'm going to show you how to use camera motion on Create Studio. Right, first of all, it's quite easy, it's not that hard really, but I'm going to start off with a couple of backgrounds just to show you a technique of uh, I've tried and it works all right so I'm gonna try this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pu push that halfway up roughly about there right so that's the first scene which I'm gonna pan across there and I'm gonna take the second scene which is this one and I'm gonna pan down to it from the top one and probably pan back across this way right which looks like a good plan to me right so we're going to do that what I need to do is make the images about 20 seconds at least because it's I want to do quite a few things with it so I can give you a good idea of what to do if you need to do anything with it right Okay, so that's roughly about 20 seconds. And what I'm going to do first now is get the effects and components. We took components and then camera and bring that on. Right. Now I've done that. What I need to do is click on the camera bar there. And as you can see, it's come up with your first camera shot. Right. The camera shot at the moment is full on. So what I want to do is I want it to go over to the left top corner. So I'll do that as best I can. I don't want to do it more than that because it's very hard to work out the same um, box size if you go to a far end like this side and try and do the same thing because this is what happens. Right? So if you have a look, see what happens straight away. It's all automatically gone back to full size. But I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is, because I want it to pan from there to there, all I'm going to do is drag that to this side. And that should be the same size as what went on that side. And there you go. That's a pan, right? If you want it smaller, you can do it smaller, but you're going to have a hell of a job sorting out the sizes and everything. Unless you use some kind of measurement system to measure it and pan it across the same size, right? Well, that you can leave it on there for a bit, say a second, and then you get to the next bit, which I'm going to do. There, right? So I'll put it on dead on three. That should be dead on two, really. But there you go. That's roughly about right. Right. So now I'm going to go on this one and click on here. Right. That's how it's connected. Right. So that's right. And I want to go to the next bit, which is going to go down just taking it down like that onto that one uh -uh. if the if it's red on the outside that means you're covering a bit of the outside edge which you don't want to do that so that's out, outside the screen when that red bit comes up right so make sure you're not going past that so that should that's not worked so what i need to do is go on this side again click here with that and then just put that back up there like that because you didn't click right even though it should have done right sometimes it does that so you've got to be careful of that right so that goes like that and that goes down there right now we go for another second and then do another one right let's pull that back a bit right so now we need to do the same with this one on this side click on it make sure it's all right like that then we go this side and do it again take it all the way across there like that. right so we'll have a look see if that worked let's just check down look as if it's worked again yeah it ain't worked again look so what i need to do is click on this side again and just move that back to there sometimes up and light doesn't catch all the well right so and there we go that's gone all the way around I'm actually a bit what's it on that so what I need to do is just come off there go onto the actual 
image that one I want to no, know that one sorry need to pull that up a bit that's right okay so let's go back up and see where we're going what we'll do is we'll go back to the beginning and see how it looks so far right that looks all right going down to that one that's going across that's that's pretty good that's exactly what i wanted right now we're going to do another one oops i've just clicked out that too far right i'm going to get to the next one here i'm going to do click on this bit there click on that make sure i move it like that make sure it's there right so what i'm going to do is just check that and now i want to expand that so that this side is going to be expanded so we'll go there just need to click on that and then just expand it out to the full so you could see there's two actual what's on there and that's got to come down a bit and that's got to go up a bit like that okay right so that'll do right and now we're going to move that over a little bit like that right so as you can see it's done all that right and it's going pretty quick actually so if you have a look at it movement is pretty quick that's because i haven't stretched them out too far right that didn't go that didn't go up oh it is it's going up now Right, so that's gone up, right, to the top. So, I'm a bit over on that side, a bit over on that side. So, what I need to do is I need to change them. Right, so, let's just go on that. Pull that in a little bit. Like that. And that one in a bit. Make sure it's in. We'll make sure that in the within the constraints of the actual thing because if you go over it do, you don't get to see all of it on the camera for some reason so anyway so we've got all the way to there that's the last bit where we've just just gone look like that right so I'll stop that now and what i want to do is i want to give it a bit of time and then I want to go to a middle piece here what is right so I've got another piece there so what I want to do is jiggle that about just to make sure try and make sure it sticks with that right hopefully sometimes it doesn't so we'll see in a minute and then what I'm going to do on this side I'm going to take it down from there to from there to there to here yeah, by this singular tent here like that so you got it right at the tent basically so if we do it that way okay so it's gone from big to small so it's zooming into that tent basically right and what I want to do is I'm going to stretch that a little bit. Stretch it over. So it takes longer. And I might have to also add more to these, actually. A bit more. I'm going to pull it as far as I can. Like that, on these. Because if I need to do something else in a minute. Right. So. Go up. Now, I'm going to show you all of this so far. And then you'll see the difference in the, the length of how long it takes to get to that piece, right? Hopefully. Right. See how long that took? That took a lot longer. Right. Now what I want to do is from that piece, I'm going to go from there and I'm going to add another one and what I want to do is the same size as that I want to try and get that 
to pan down to here. Right, so I'm going to get that from there and then pan it down to here if I can. So I'll go down here. Right, so now it ain't worked, so I need to put that back up that way. Let's have a look, see what that looks. Yeah, right, so that's what I'll do. And then when it gets to there, go a bit further on. And then just move that across a bit, like that. And then the last bit is I'm just going to bring it back up from there. And then bring it back to normal size, which is I want to expand it there on camera. Or you can do this expand the camera there. So we go from there to there to there and so on. Right, so let's go back to the beginning and let's see how it goes. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please like and subscribe to Tony's Music. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and please leave your comments below the video. Thank you very much.